Izzy, a slight favorite at minus 140 to plus 110 for Perea, which I think makes sense because, like I said, Izzy's winning that fight for the majority of the fight, and he just, like like you've said many times, when you're in there with these kind of guys, you have to be perfect. One little mistake, one little opening, and Perea turns the lights off. Um, Tell me what you're looking for, what to expect, and we'll get the prediction at the end. And I'll give you the over-under at the end, too, for the people at my bookie. We got to do the deep dive. You got to do the dive, the real dive. It ain't just physical and technical. It's this. It's mental. The first thing that Adesanya, the toughest task for him is to – he needs exorcism. You know, I love him. He's been on our show. I'm rooting for him. I don't know the other guy, but I'm rooting for him. I'm sure the other guy's a good guy, too. But I'm rooting for Adesanya. He's special. He's a special athlete. He's a special winner. He's a special champion. He's a special person. He is. But you need an exorcism. He's got to get the ghost out of the attic. And they're all ghosts in the attic right now. You know, it's not just that he got knocked out in this fight. He got knocked out before that in the amateurs or whatever that was before the UFC. Whatever that fight was, he got beat twice before this. Once, I believe, a decision, and once he got knocked out. Professional kickboxing, both of those fights. That That's that's still there. That That's in his attic. He's got to get... Again, he's got to get those ghosts out of his attic. That's the main thing. He's got the ability. He's got the technique. Now, the guy's a big guy. He's a good puncher. He can't make mistakes. Very similar to the fight plan that we we just did, Ken. You were there in the gym with me. That we just did with Tank Davis. It's going to be shown pretty soon. We're going to be putting it up pretty soon before the Tank Davis and Garcia fight. Very similar fight plan. He's got to beat Garcia. You know, he's got to control the outside. He can't make mistakes. You know, he's got to keep more balance. Always know how dangerous Tank Davis is. Same thing. Same thing. He's got to keep more balance. He's got to keep Pereira off balance. Use his mobility. You know, get in, get out. Move off to the sides. Don't stay in in front of him too long, you know, in the pocket. He's got to, I mean, if he gets in a pocket, I know that it's, it's different tying a guy up. You know, you want to tie a guy up if you don't want to let him be dangerous inside in the ring. So you tie him up. Uh, in this case, maybe he goes to – I don't know if he goes to a floor. To, I know he's he's not a master on the floor, is he? But I also know he's got great ability to survive on the mat, uh, that he knows how to – he's got good takedown defense. Uh, I know he's been he's worked at that. He's very good. But his thing is striking, speed and striking. But maybe if they do get close, he, he ties him up, he gets on the floor just to kill a little time, then gets back to, again, being Muhammad Ali, being Ryan Garcia, controlling the outside, keeping him off balance, not you know not giving him a chance to, to land that big shot. Uh, but the key to do that, again, yeah, I'm going to repeat it because it's worth repeating. Get the ghost out of the freaking attic. There's certain guys that – that there was a fighter years ago. You remember him? He was a top champion. I don't know if they had pound for pound. If they did, he would have been pound for pound one of the best. He beat the La Jolla, Shane Mosley. He was a really good fighter. Oh, a, great guy. Was, and his son, Shane Mosley Jr., is a world-class guy. He trains in Santa Monica. I was good friends with him when I lived out in L.A. You Love know Shane everybody, Mosley. so I knew right away that you, would, <laughs> that you would grab that and you'd run with it. All right. Now, because there's no one Ken doesn't know, by the way. So Shane Mosley was a top guy. And he fought a guy, God bless him, I, I want to say a prayer for him because he passed away way, way too young, um, like uh, Vernon Forrest. But he fought Vernon Forrest, and Shane Mosley was the favorite. Here's the thing, where there's a similarity with what I'm talking about with Pereira and Adesanya, where Vernon Forrest had beaten Shane Mos- Mosley in the amateurs. That stayed with him. Now, listen. Part of it was the style matchup, you know, that he, you could say he had his numbers. Certain people have certain people's numbers, Ken. They do. They And I'm making proof of it. They have, they, I'm giving you something tangible here, proof, exhibit A in a courtroom to show it. They, they just have their number. And Vernon Forrest had made Mosley's number. Not just technically the way he fought. That was a part of it. The way that he approached it, the way he fought his technique, styles make fights. But also, mentally, he had beaten him. And what does he do? Even though Mosley was the favorite, 
he beats Mosley the first time they fight. He beats him the second time. And I remember when people were asking me about that. Teddy, who do you predict the second time? What do you think I said? Even though I thought Mosley was a better fighter, more explosive in a lot of areas, certain areas, although Forrest was a good, solid fighter and a big guy. But I said, I like Forrest again. He's got his number. He's, he's got bats in his belfry. He's got ghosts in, in his attic. You know, and and, and sure enough, he won again. That's what you're dealing with here. That that you're dealing with that. That's that's the key. And as far as like you said, he was winning every minute of every round until he wasn't winning anymore. Bang! That's sudden. For this fight, he's gotta, you know, he's gotta get rid of the ghost. He's gotta um keep more balance not give Pereira the one thing he needs to be set in front of him where he can either catch him going straight back, coming in, or standing in front of him. Those three dimensions. Don't give him that. Don't give him where you're coming in. He catch you coming in. He catch you going out. You know that old saying? I got him coming and going. Don't let him catch you coming or going. And don't stand in front of him. Sides, angles, you know. Watch one of those old Western movies there, my friend. Is he... You know, I know you like watching movies. A lot of your fighters do. A lot of my fighters do. Before, you know, the days before, keep himself busy, watch more. Watch one of those old westerns where, they, where the sheriff said, we got to get out of Dodge. I want you out of Dodge by noon. Get in and get out of Dodge. That's what you want to do is you get in and get out of Dodge. Keep, now, I know you want to hit him with something to hurt him, to hold him, to res- get, get his respect. I get it. And you're a fighter. You're a champion. You got the character. You got all that. That's why I ain't betting against you because of that character. Even though I just led to most people would say, Teddy, you're picking Pereira. You made the perfect analogy, the perfect example with Vernon Forrest and Mosley that Forrest just had Mosley's number. He had his ticket and and, and, and stayed that way. And he couldn't beat him. I know I could go that road. And it sounds like I'm going that road. But I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Maybe it's because I like him, because it's personal. I try not to let those feelings get in the way. Keep this all business, you know, like the Godfather, Hyman Roth. Michael, it's, it's, it's business. It ain't personal. It's business. I, I think I'd assign you, if anyone can overcome it, I know he's. We know he's got the technique and he's got the physicality. Although he does make mistakes technically, he drops his hands. You know, he, you can t- if you catch him, you can you can catch him clean because of that. Um, but he's very quick. He's very athletic. He's been a champion. He he's got the kind of mental makeup, the mental strength that I believe if, if anyone's going to overcome that, and he has to overcome that. Everything I just laid out, that's what this is about. That's and and I don't think other people are gonna lay it out. They're just gonna lay out the, you know, the X's and O's part of it. The the and the physical part. I get it. But it's it's the mental realm. It's the mental realm. And if anyone is strong enough in that realm, I believe it's I believe it's our friend, Izzy. And and let I'm, me ask you this, Teddy, with the line for the people at my bookie. Um, mybookie.ag use promo code Atlas 50% credit on your first deposit Izzy is minus 140 versus a plus 110 for Perea do you like it enough to lay the wood it's not a lot of wood you know it is Correct. 40 minus 140 but it's not minus 300 or minus 250 or that kind of stuff that we get in a lot of fights Um, yeah I, 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 yeah, I believe in them enough you know where I'm going to lay the wood and um, or I would lay the wood. And what is, is there an over under or? Yeah. Sorry. I got you. Uh, over under the under is a slight favorite here at uh minus 128 under four and a half rounds. The over is even money at plus 100. Well, obviously if I want to back myself up and protect myself, I put a small, I guess I put a small play on the under, right? Because yeah. if Izzy loses, that would probably be the, the the way that you would think he would lose. So 
I guess you back yourself up with the under if the ghosts are still in the attic. You know, and well, they, the only thing I'd say to that is Izzy almost had him out of there. I think it was at the end of the second well, round. If the yeah. bell didn't ring when it did, 100%. Alex Perez is on roller well, skates. Well, either way, you win if you bet the under is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. of course. No, yeah, no, yeah. I get it. So, um, but I, I guess back I'm backing place. you up. I say either guy can stop the yeah. other. I wouldn't be so, I, I, I'd take yeah, the I under myself. To back myself up. So I, I, I lay the wood on Izzy and then I back myself up with a, you know, with a little protection on the under, I guess. Uh, I don't want to call it a save a bet, but, you know, a, a little bit of insurance, I guess. You got to pay for insurance, right? Insurance ain't free. For sure. Yeah. yeah that's for sure. <laughs> Should have been an insurance salesman. They, uh, they're, they're killing me.